Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, Terence discuss further into conic sections and polar coordinates and now look at the unified theorem again but now look at the proof for the parabola or that it is applicable to a parabola. So let's just quickly recap on a couple things. So recall from my earlier vi video in which I covered the conventional definition of a parabola. That's this over here. Uh, definition of a parabola is the set of points in a plane that are equidistant or same distance from a fixed point F called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix. So for example if this is the parabola is a set of all these points across like this then there has to be a point called the focus and a line called the directrix where any point you go is always the same distance. So here uh, from this point to this it's the same distance as as from this to the F. As well as if you were to go here for example this is going to be the same distance as going to here, one, two, three. So the curve is going to be uh, following along that uh, theorem or definition. So it always needs to be the exact same uh, in order for it to be called a parabola. And also to note that the standard equation of a parabola in Cartesian or rectangular coordinates is y equals ax squared, just a typical parabola equation. And, I'll, and now let's uh, recap on the unified theorem for conics, which I covered in my earlier videos as well. So now recall the unified theorem for conics, which accounts for parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas. Because remember before, ellipses and hyperbolas have a different definition than parabolas, but now we're going to use the exact same theorem uh, for the, yeah, for all the conics, for all three of those. So theorem right here, let f Again, recall from this one. Uh, so let F be a fixed point called the focus and L be a fixed line called the directrix in a plane. So similar to this, but now what we'll do is, is look at or uh, introduce a new variable called E. So let E be a fixed number. So just a constant called the eccentricity and it's a fixed positive number. It's gonna be a ratio. So the set of all points P in the plane such that now the difference from the point to the focus F, uh, the distance divided by the distance from the point to the directrix, which is going to be L, is going to be equal to E. So the ratio of these two, and these are in distances, so it's always going to be positive. Yeah, so basically that is the ratio of the distance from F to the distance uh, from L is the constant E. So in other words, over here, you could uh, see if these are equal, the ratio has to be equal to 1. <laughs> in fact, that is a proof uh, in of itself. So this is going to be a conic section. That's the theorem. And the conic is an ellipse if E is less than 1, a parabola if E is equal to 1, and a hyperbola if E is greater than 1. And again, MES note, the eccentricity is always positive since it is just the ratio of the distances. And I'll prove this theorem for ellipses and hyperbolas in a later video, so stay tuned. And uh, here again, the theorem is illustrated below. So you have the directrix line like this. You have this uh, curve across there at, at, at any point P. The distance from that to the focus is going to be PF. This distance is PL, and the ratio PF over PL equals to E. And also recall that the motivation behind the above theorem is that it can be written in a simple formula when using polar coordinates and setting the focus at the origin or pole. And again, a refresh on that, so just a refresher on all these. Theorem in terms of a simple polar equation, a polar equation of the form R equals E D divided by 1 plus E cosine, 1 plus or minus E cosine theta, or, one, or R equals uh, e times d divided by one, 1 plus or minus e sine theta. And this represents a conic section with eccentricity or uh, eccentricity e and the focus at the origin or pole. And the conic is an ellipse if e is less than 1, a parabola if e equals 1, or a hyperbola if e is greater than 1. Here's the equations again, which I covered in my earlier videos uh, for different polar equations for various conics depending on where d, the directrix, or uh, is located. This one's at x equals d, this is at x equals negative d, and this is for the vertical ones, y equals d and y equals negative d for the directrix. And the equations change plus or minus cosine e cosine or plus or minus e sine. So now, enough recap for, uh, for a change. Now let's look at the proof of conic theorem for a parabola and uh, prove that it is in fact E equals 1. 
And in fact, if you were paying attention, I, uh, I already pretty much proved it by showing that it was equidistant, so it needs to be, the ratio needs to be one. So in other words, the above theorem says if E equals one, in other words, the distance from PF, uh, P to F divided by the distance from P to L equals to E, which equals to one. So then we, what we can do is move this over to the other side. What we end up having is PF equals to, well, PL. In other words, these are equidistant. This is just the same distance. I'll just circle this. So this means equidistant. And in fact, this is the proof that this is a problem. And uh, recall, uh, yeah, so now, uh, before I get that, now if you look at how this looks like, I'm going to draw this, this set of points like this. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw, oh, this is going to be, let's say this is a parabola P, or sorry, parabola, like that. So this is going to be our parabola, because you can see now if this is the focus F, and this is the directrix L, that's right, this is the, the directrix, then let's say we have a point P across here. Yeah, this is the point P, then the distance from P to F, well, that's just going to be uh, right across like this. I'll draw it in red. This is just P, F, the distance. And then this one distance from here to here is going to be P and uh, L. So this is the directrix line L. And then these are just going to be equal to each other. So in other words, this is equal to this. And likewise, if you were to go across here, Anywhere you go, this is going to be equal, and so on. Let's draw this bit uh, straighter like that, and it's perpendicular because the closest uh, distance to it. Or yeah, it's going to be perpendicular. And again, this is exactly the same as my earlier definition. Uh, this is the exact same as the con uh, conventional one, where this equidistance. In other words, this distance equals to this. The ratio is going to be well. Um, the ratio e is going to be one. So there it is. That's all, all we have to do. Is it's pretty simple. And uh, yeah, so the, now, the, now we have literally the exact same definition as a conventional theorem for a parabola. In other words, that's the proof. And now, yeah, that's all for today. Now the proofs for ellipses and hyperbolas are a bit more complicated, so stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. Just apply the theorem. It's going to be the exact same as the conventional one. And again, the motivation is so that we could write all three theorems into just one equation in either of these forms in polar equation. So that is the benefit of having this unified theorem. And again, I'll go over when uh, for ellipses, e is less than 1, and hyperbola is when e is greater than 1 in a later video, so stay tuned. Anyways, it's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below, as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. Follow me at MES. Also, make sure to check out my uh, cool math or science forums and the uh, chat room on Discord and post any cool math or science related stuff you find. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.